But everything we do and everything we venture into is in his name uh, because we are hoping to create something nice for his people. And after all, we are all his people. This is the inspirational story of Carl Anabali of the town of Tonawanda. An accomplished organist and teacher, he was born with damaged optic nerves and lost his sight by the time he was 10 years old. Carlo graduated from the New York State School for the Blind in Batavia in 1950 and immediately sought work as a musician. But who would want to hire a blind man? After school, I started to work. Uh, I met a local musician at the time. He's, uh, his name was George Sapienza, and he uh, had, I guess he had read an ad because I, I had advertised uh, for musicians, you know, to form a group. And he came over and we started working together and it was a very happy and marvelous relationship. I started working in about 1951 as a professional musician and had been a part of very many groups and uh, we, we traveled around the country. We formed a good group and uh, we worked in Florida and St. Petersburg and in the Shamrock Hilton in Houston and in uh, Los Angeles and we worked in Bakersfield and Fresno, California. And uh, about 1963, I decided that I would rather stay put and do teaching uh, as well as playing. One For some 20 years now, Carlo has been teaching organ in his modest studio at his home. One student is Tom Chimay, who is proving to be quite accomplished in his own right. OK. Okay, one. Don't pick it up, keep the speed the same. Do you feel you miss much in life? Well, no, I, I've often thought about uh, this, Fran, and, and um, I know many, many people with real handicaps, and there just isn't anything on this earth that I would switch it for. I, I just soon stay just the way I am. I take it then you don't consider yourself handicapped. No, I have to do things the long way around sometimes, and maybe with a little assistance here and there, but no, not really. In addition to your wife, Doris, I understand you have another love affair with uh, a pipe organ. Oh, do we ever. Well, not now that isn't just me. Now, my wife, she's just as bad as I am, and maybe even worse. Uh, we're restoring a four-manual theater pipe organ. It's four keyboards, and it will end up having 28 ranks or 28 sets of pipes. I've had boxes and pound boxes of parts, wondering if I was ever going to get through with them. And somehow you do. And I've cleaned, and then the little leather bellows or pneumatics as they're called. I uh, take all the old decayed leather off, sand them, clean them, and prepare for other people to put uh, brand new leather on them. She does a lot of varnishing. She does a lot of the re-leathering and uh, she, she helps with uh, readjusting and many, many different things. When do you figure you'll have this pipe organ restored and what kind of a resting place do you have in mind for it? I'm tentatively setting a goal, let's say for approximately six months. And we're hoping, uh, if it be in the will of the good Lord, that the organ be put into a restaurant. And we're hoping to, to install the theater organ in there and, and create a lot of enjoyment, a lot of fun, a lot of music for everybody. I, uh, personally intend to uh, print menus in Braille. I'm hoping we can have someone, uh, someone of the help that can perform sign language because even though people may not be able to hear, they can sure feel the intensity of the rhythm, the intensity of the organ, and uh, uh, of course silent mu uh, movies are no problem for them at all. And uh, so we hope to have and make uh, available for anyone that uh, it, anyone that, that wishes to come. Wheelchair facilities, everything. 
Does it take a special faith to accomplish what you have? I would have to say yes. Uh, Doris and I have a very deep faith and, and a very uh, complete love for Jesus Christ. He's very, very significant in our lives. And so that everything we do and everything we venture into is in his name uh, because we are hoping to create something nice for his people. And after all, we are all his people. So my faith really is very, the, the significant factor in, in maintaining our drive to do this. Thank you.